Hello guys, it's Matthias Trades, and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be going over Atomera, ticker Atom. Before we get this video started, it would be greatly appreciated if you smash that like button and subscribe for more content similar to this. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Number one, about Atomera Inc., ticker Atom. Atomera engages in the development, commercialization, and licensing of proprietary processes and technologies in the semiconductor industry. It developed mirror silicon technology, which increases performance and power efficiency in semiconductor transistors. The company was founded by Robert Mears on April 26, 2001, and is headquartered in Los Gatos, California. Number two, key technologies. So, Adam Maris, uh main technology is mirror silicone technology. So, it works by inserting a layer of oxygen in between the silicone lattice as the latter forms. Mears claims this lowers shrinkage, which is bad, and improves drive current, which is good. Oh my god! while simultaneously improving electron hole mobility. The total gains are, ex are estimated to be the equivalent to a, full, to a half node to a full node die shrinkage, depending on the characteristics of the chip. What's a process node, you might ask? Great question. Basically, a process node has to do with the size com of the components, such as gates on a chip. Think of a node as related to the size of the chip combined in some way with its performance characteristics. Suffice it to say, the smaller, the better. That's what she said. <laughs> and when a semi-manufacturer changes process nodes, it's very, very expensive. So Mir's semiconductor technology is basically helping manufacturers make significant performance improvements at a fraction of the cost of, of retooling their fabs or factories. Why does it matter, you may ask? This technology could significantly improve semiconductor performance in a wide variety of ways that re could result in benefits such as increasing cell phones' battery life enough that it could go multiple days without a charge. More energy efficient chips means less battery consumption. Number three, recent news. The company currently has several other new prospects, not currently in their pipeline, who are also interested in working with their technology. They are also feeling positive about the comp contributions that MST, Mere Silicone Technology, can make to the RF applications and devices which should benefit from the ongoing 5G rollout. Additionally, Atomera announced it had entered a joint development agreement, JDA, with an unnamed leading semiconductor provider. Arguably the most significant part of the agreement was that it includes a manufacturing license allowing the unnamed provider to fabricate semiconductors that incorporate Atomera's Mirrors silicone technology. Number five, any concerns with the company? Right off the bat, there are a couple of concerns. First off, does their technology work? Nothing has been deployed yet, and we don't know if their technology moves from the lab to the factory. The lab research is very promising though, and they are getting closer and closer to real world tests with manufacturers. Secondly, do they have enough capital to reach profitability? They just obtained another 25 million in cash in January 2021 by issuing shares at the market, which seems to be a uh, which seems to be a good valuation considering they previously issued shares in the sub $10 per share range. This should put cash and equivalents at $50 million within, with a quarterly free cash flow of negative $2.5 million to $3 million per quarter. So that's a pretty long runway. Lastly, will their technology be adopted? The company claims it can offer performance improvements equal to those that might be achieved by adopting three to five semiconductors or moving to sub 10 nanometer nodes at a fraction of the cost, but only if major fabs sign on. 
To date, none appear to have done so, but their pipeline of prospects is full. Overall, I believe that Atomera is one of the top up and coming companies within the semiconductor industry. And my rating on them is a buy. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go shatter that like button and subscribe for more content similar, similar to this. I'm Matias Trades, and I'm out.